cold start, so I thought I'd get my chainsaw out, make myself a nice seat and table. I'm going to dig this stump in and uh, nail the table top down. So I mean, was in two minds where to put it. I was going to have it over there, but I think it'll be quite nice here, right near the fire. Obviously, can move it. <clears throat> move the chair when I want to, but I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna dig this in. So this will be really really practical. Another place to sit and eat. Whew, sweating now. That's the thing when it's cold you you want to do more to keep warm. So yeah it's gonna work out <coughs> work out really nice. And I always wanted to make one of these. So that's quite that's quite comfortable as well. Very nice. Maybe dinner tonight on here. That gorgeous morning. This will be the coldest morning so far. I think it was. Well, when I went for a walk, it was uh, it was frosty, so definitely the coldest morning. But gorgeous. Like I said, I always I like these temperatures. You know, cold and calm and. Hopefully the sun will come out. But what do you think, guys? I think it's a nice addition to the camp. I was going to do me me shooting range, but kind of got waylaid with this. So I prepared a nice fire and uh, I'm going to do a beef and red wine in the duchy and that will uh, keep me nice and warm later. That's going to go down lovely. life is good. Little three stirs clockwise is suggested. Oh yeah, it's going to be lovely. That's what the doctor ordered this weather. Oh, let's get that lid on. Pan fire.
So a nice bit of tomato puree in there and a bit of beef stock. Add some more flavours to the pot. Feel like a witch in the cauldron. Eat right out, Jamie Oliver. So I'll call this section bush tucker time, I think. Not bush whacker time. This is definitely bush tucker, isn't it? God. So this will last me two, maybe three days, depending on how much I give to Buster. So perfect, look at that. On a nice winter's morn. Every three to four days, I uh, sharpen my tools, you know, depending on how much I'm using them. So I'm just using a DC4 block, I bought that with me for the axes and the hatchet. And then my knife. And then my knife, I'll just strop 50 times each side till it's sharp. Don't tend to use a, a stone on the knife. Just once it dulls, I'll just strop it with that. Just a bit of leather, stropping leather. It's mounted on a board. And that keeps it keeps it in good shape. So I do that for all my knives and axes and hatchets. So like I said about 50 times per side and that pretty much does that every two to three days. And I'll do the same with my with my big knife that needs a bit of a clean first before I strop it. There's a lot of um, birch resin on there and I'll clean that off and then uh, I'll strop that. So we've all taken a bit of a hammer in but it's nice uh, nice having your tools and then I've got my other the other bore knife which I haven't used a lot of but I do like um, TBS knives 
so I use <coughs> use that one. But I haven't really used it much this trip. I've I've been using their folding knife. Which is uh it's coming really handy. A curly birch handle. That's been living on me all the time. I really like that because you can carry that pretty much you know all day long you don't know you're wearing it. I wear it a lot at home as well. So I need a bit more linseed on there really. That's taking a taking a hammer in. That's a great that's a great little folding knife. You've seen me using that a lot. That's been uh, that's been awesome. Great for carving as well. And also I bought the little Mora I don't know the model of this. This is a great little carver as well. It needs a bit of a touch up. But I've done my um, my fork with that. So we're using that a bit more before I go home. And the Swiss Army knife, the champ. That's a great, uh, great tool. Bits and pieces on there. I've used that a couple of times since I've been here. But predominantly as a knife, I've been been using the the TBS folding knife. So there's my selection of cutting tools, really, and obviously the big the big axe. I need a, a splitting axe, really. So that's pretty much, you know, all my my knives that I bought along with me and uh, always carry my little bocker neck knife so I'll give that a touch up as well that's awesome for cutting paracord or bits and pieces around the kitchen around the old cook station so I love that. that, that's on me all the time Great little knife. But it's a lovely day, so I thought I'd sit under here. So that one's finished now. Boiled it all up. Bit of olive oil. Hold the blade. That's a nice edge on there. So that'll keep me going for another two to three days. Plus the damp. Damp won't get to the blade. Nothing worse than your tools going rusty. So you pay quite a bit of money for them, so it's best to look after them. So, on to the next one. But I think an important skill if you're going to be uh, out you know longer than a weekend is to uh, learn how to sharpen your tools you know once they dull <coughs> once they go dull that's uh, that's a tool rendered useless really and then they become dangerous so definitely uh, learn the skill of sharpening but a knife is, you know, quite easy with a strop. With a strop, you can't really go wrong. And just keep keep regularly doing it. So that's quite that's quite a nice edge on there now. And that's like I said, about 50, 50 strops each side, keeping it even.
So a few butter mushrooms, and I made some mash. All out in the rain, but in here now, I've got the wood burner on. Mmm! So this is stunning. Perfect meal for this weather. It's turned really cold. I was hoping it was, the rain was going to turn to snow, but it didn't happen. I'm going to tuck into this now, guys. Gorgeous. It's a chilly one tonight guys. It's been about half hour under here. Let's chill out before bed. I've got the wood burner on. So I the TP, let that warm up and then I'll I'll be diving in. And I might uh, might do a bit of reading tonight. Oh it's gorgeous under here. Lovely little lean to. But it's definitely uh definitely turned chilly. So I've got my base layer on and my trusty wall jumper and me uh my anorak and my reed thermal that's keeping me quite warm. Fires <clears throat> the fire's gone out, so no fire out here tonight. Just body heat. Yeah, it's definitely turned, but it's it's nice like this. So I'm just having a bit of a smoke after my meal. I'm on the uh, electronic ignition. Well, not ignition. Electronic uh, e cig, as they call them. I used to smoke for a few years and I went on to this. But uh, one day I'll have to try and knock this on the head. But I do, do like a smoke after a meal. I don't know if any of you have tried these, they're quite good. Thing with smoking, you do uh, you do smell a bit, the old tobacco, but these are quite clean. So I'm running, uh, I think I'm running strawberry flavour in this one. Uh, it keeps me going, a bit of nicotine. I've reduced my dosage down as well. Keep blocking the light, but I've reduced my uh, my dosage down, so I'm on quite a low low dose of nicotine. It's very uh, addictive drug. I'm still in the habit of having a good smoke after a meal. They do kick out the smoke. <laughs> but an end to a nice evening. So comfortable up here, like I keep saying. Even though it's a cold night, it's uh, you have a nice big meal, it warms you right through. It's quite good eating late because you get all that, <coughs> that energy from your food. Keeps you, uh, sort of warms you through. Not that I need it because I've got that wood burner uh, kicking out. But it's a dark one tonight. There's no moon yet pitch black. I wouldn't want to go uh, walking around with no, no torchlight unless you knew exactly where you're going. It's amazing the eyesight that the animals have got. I see a few deer the other night when I went for a, a night walk. The way they negotiate around the, around the woodland with no, uh, no torchlight. Their eyes are so sophisticated. Same with uh, Buster as well. He can he can walk no problem through the woods. No torchlight. Yeah, we've got poor eyesight. That's for sure. Right, 
<coughs> I'm going to turn in. It's probably, uh, what's the time? Quarter to seven. It gets dark so early. Yeah, quarter to seven. Turn in. Warm me uh, PJs over the over the fire, over the wood burner. Get me book out. Light me candle. Another nice evening in the teepee. I'm gonna miss uh, miss the candle light as well. When I go home, got used to uh, candle light. It's a lovely, uh, lovely light. Not like the, uh, not like that torch. No, it's a pleasant glow and the lantern behind me. A bit bright the torches, but I've got to put it on because you won't see me. So anyway, I'll bid you good night, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Morning guys, so the time's come, the end of the series, I'm uh, sad to see it come really but it's been aw absolutely awesome, so thanks to for this TP, for making it really comfortable during my period, during my six weeks period here, thanks to the camp and obviously Mother Nature for supplying me this great venue and thanks to you guys my loyal subscribers I hope you've really enjoyed the series hope it's inspired some of you I hope you've learned a few things along the way I certainly have so it's sad to, to wrap this one up but all, for, all good things come to an end so I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy the great outdoors guys. Cheers. Buster, come and say goodbye. Buster, come and say goodbye. Come here, sit. Sit, say goodbye. Good boys. Say goodbye. Come here. And uh, I've got to say Merry Christmas to you all. And uh, have a great, great new year. And uh, stay well. Cheers, guys. I don't think Buster wants to leave. I've just got the TP to take down and that's the end of Solo TP series. Six weeks solo in a teepee, done. Cheers guys, enjoy the grey outdoors.